Hello, buddy. Welcome back. So, I just finished um, selling a bunch of stuff, uh, repairing armor, and buying a whole bunch of mods for all the weapons we had collected from the frontier, applying those, put them all in the safe, all that. Um, and I was just on my way out of uh, here, because there's another um, uh, one of those weapon mod vending machines here at the outpost. I just came over here for some reason. Um, I was playing around with the metal detector, and I found something kind of cool. So I reloaded a save just so I could show you. Hopefully I can find it again. Cut it, out, will ya? it was, uh... Oh, where is it? Here we go. Oh, dang it, it didn't... Okay. So, I guess the loot is randomized. I had found a treasure map. Oh, man. Let me keep looking around then, because I, I want to see if I can find that again. But um, I also noticed there's a, uh, a mod you can put on here. Uh, metal Detector Scanning Enforcer. So we can buy that from the vending machine. I also looked into the Nexus. Apparently you can get it from uh, the lady back in Novak. So I might go there and pick that up. see if I can find another treasure map. I guess that is worth noting. Uh, I guess all the loot is randomized. I believe all the holes, though, are deliberately placed. I, I think I remember on the Nexus, it said something about, like, there's like 600 treasure caches individually placed. So, I mean, that's crazy. That's, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and I doubt we're going to ever find all of them, but still cool. Alright, let's head over to Novak. We'll pick up that upgrade. And I might come over here again just to do another search before we head off to that airport again. Hello. Howdy, traveler. Uh, is there a way to make finding treasures easier? There is. However, it's gonna cost you. Of course. I spent a lot of time in caps on retrofitting a terminal onto a detector and making a wide area scanner compatible with a custom OS. Damn. Finding a terminal with a half size screen was difficult, but finding working parts to repair it was even tougher. Vacuum tubes that small are rare. It should be fairly easy to install, though. I've already soldered the sockets needed to the machine you've got. Huh. Um, so how much do you want for it? Considering how much I've spent on this thing, it wouldn't be an understatement to call this my greatest work. Two thousand, and it's yours. Damn. Uh... You know what? It's worth it. I'm not gonna undersell Great. it there. Take good care of it. Will do. Oh, look at that. Oh, it just says scanning. Let's see if we can find a treasure map here. So, before I reloaded that save, I, I had picked it up and it was like, oh, nearby find. Actually, it should be on the sand, right? Am I getting closer? Where is it? Is it over here? <gasps> Bottle caps. Alright. I'm going to head over to the uh, Mojave outpost again. I'm going to scan around a bit and see if I can't find another treasure map for us. Because that looked pretty fun. Well, I found the Sunset Stasperilla Star Bottle Cab, so I guess that would be pretty useful early game. Let's see if I can find anything else.
All the soldiers keep acting like I'm pointing a gun at them, though. I'm a little worried about that. Sweep the inside of this fence and then uh, I'll head over to the airport. Oh! Where's that? Okay, some ammo. If this works in the DLCs, like if you could take this over to uh, the Divide or uh, Zion. Alright. I don't think there's anything else here. Let's head over to the airport. Okay, we made it back to the airport. Um, in between pauses, I may have actually gone through all of Searchlight searching for treasure. <laughs> oh man, this thing is addicting. And now that I know there's actually treasure maps, I want to find one again. So anyway, fun fact, uh, I didn't even realize this, but the mod author for Havasu Blues is the same mod author that made the metal detector. <laughs> so that's cool. Alright. I got everything I need. You ready to head out? Or just here to chat? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I like that. Someone who comes prepared and ready to go. Get on the plane, and let's get this show on the road. Or, uh, sky. Sky. You awake back there? We put your stuff in a box behind you. The oh, flight okay. is only going to take about half an hour, so don't get too comfortable back there. <laughs> All right. I like it. Nice intro sequence. Uh, oh, a Fallout in Vegas mod and two acts. Nice. This feels like a like a Borderlands intro sequence. I like this. I made myself a drink too. With cherry, Dr. Jerry. Cherry, Dr. Pepper, and Sailor Jerry. We're above Arizona right now. We'll land shortly. Shit, I should have brought a Legion disguise. Got any in flight entertainment? Wait, what's that? Oh, shit! Damn it, oh. we're hit! Who the hell is firing at us? Uh, does the Legion have, like, anti-air defense? No, 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 we're going down! Brace yourself! I don't think I'm braced. <laughs> oh god, how broken am I? Lost and naked. Oh, great. 
crippled one health. Uh, find out where you are. Well, I guess I can go back to the sink. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should have just realized if we fall, we are going to get seriously hurt. Drink the water. Oh, can't sprint either. Fuck. All right, we gotta get MacGyver our way out of this. I'm take these bottles and convert them into uh, broken glass and throw it at my enemies. Yeah, that'll work. Saturnite Knife Factory. Alright, before we go in there, wrench. Okay, unbend the cans. I'll make them more efficient. Something tells me the game wants us to go this way. Oh crap, I just realized I never took a picture of the well of the frickin' inside of the plane while we were there. That would have made a great uh Alright, that's our thumbnail. Ooh. Doctor's bag. Fuck. Twenty gauge cells. Okay. Alright. Shantytown Connecting Cave. At least we're not being irradiated. Ooh, can I eat this? Nope. <laughs> uh, oh boy. They have turrets. I hope they are friendly. Oh, yikes. You're not feral. I almost shot you there. I would have died. Uh, where am I? Our little shanty town ain't got a name, but we call the surrounding area Rad World. Oh, uh, could you be more specific? I guess this place was called the Eagle Crags Industrial Development Area before the war. It's in the western part of the state that we used to call Arizona back in the day. And as you could guess, it was an industrial area. It's pretty remote, which is both good and bad for us. The seclusion makes raid parties rare, but that also means trade is rare. But raid parties have never been an issue in the valley. It's the radiation and the ferals that cause trouble. Um, okay. Who, who are you? I'm Johnny, the first and the only line of defense in this here shanty town. Now, who are you, stranger? There's not many who waltz into this radiation-drenched hellhole. I'm Cannonball Taylor. I guess I crash-landed here. Um... Oh, so you came in that plane, huh? Yeah, I found your friend, but he wasn't very... talkative. I didn't think there was anyone else around. Glad you survived, though. And you haven't attacked me yet, so you're likely in your right mind. You do look pretty beat up, though. How about this? I'll open the door here behind me and you can go find Yuko. She's not exactly a doctor, but she knows how to tend to a broken bone or two. Okay. Um, do you know who shot me down? <laughs> Take care now. We've seen enough death around here. Um, how long have I, been, have I been out? Oh, that thing crashed hours ago. I heard two big bangs outside, so I went out to investigate. I saw a big plane crashed into the cliff and debris everywhere. 
Huh. Where's my shit? Your stuff? I don't know. Probably up in town. The settlers all came down to scavenge what they could. Despicable if you ask me, but times are tough. There was literally weapons of mass destruction within my belongings, alright? I hope you realize that. As I said, I'm Johnny. Used to work at the quarry down the road back before the war. Now I'm just trying to survive here with the other sane ghouls. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned my friend? Uh, there was two. Oh, when I said he's not talkative, I meant that he's dead. I buried him by the tree where your plane crashed. Uh, what about my other friend, though? There, there was two of them. Keep safe, stranger. Okay. Hmm? What is this? Oh. Arizona Strong Beer. Cold Nuka Cola. Uh, where's the. Oh, this gate. Alright, so I got anyone selling shit? Just pick up everything. Damn it. <laughs> Keep going to sprint. <laughs> what it's like to be normal. Hey there. Hey, I'm just gonna take this. Thanks. Oh, fuck, I don't have bobby pins. What do you need? Bobby pins? Um, do I have the quest selected? and naked. Let's check out our map, though. Let's see. Alright. Decently sized. I like it. So we got Shanty Town, Saturday Night Knife Factory, Limestone Quarry, Saturday Night Munitions, Cornucopia Groceries, Canyon Escape Tunnel, Jimmy's Ranch, Havasu Airstrip, Legion, okay, Catfish Bay, Terry's Boats, Northgate, Southgate, Pittsburgh, Industrial, Beachside RV, Site 6 Army, Tribal, NCR, huh, okay, NCR and Legion, um, Shantytown Shack, Sure. Why not? Right, can I see oh. the Oh, damn it. Um, what do you need? Nothing. Could probably borrow a crutch, if anything. Johnny's Journal. Page 22. A strange fellow named Randy visited today. He said he found these radioactive waste barrels that he was collecting. He paid me good money to help him haul it back to his apartment. I didn't get a good look inside. He snatched the barrels and locked the door in a haste, but you could practically see the glow from the outside. Very rude of him, considering I helped haul those barrels up to the second floor. Then I don't know about the neighbors. I don't believe anyone else lives there anymore. But there was some intense stink coming from the old apartment on the third floor. I'm staying away from this decrepit old grocery store. The place gives me the creeps. Hmm. Someone's hoarding nuclear waste in their home. Hello. 
is on the strong. I need to go. Oh, never mind. It goes up. It do go up. Mattresses like the rest of the Mojave, where I could sleep and repair my health for free. It's totally an exploit. <laughs> uh, Shantytown Elevated Cave. Hold on. Is there something below me? I see it on the mini map. Doc, I think we got off on the wrong foot when you uh, crashed my game there, but I'd be willing to forgive you if you uh, fix my leg. Haven't seen you around here before? Yeah, I fell from the sky. Uh, who are you? I'm Yuko Takashi. I guess I'm kind of like the brains around here. Been living on this cliffside for a while now. It's not very exciting, for better and worse. Excitement these days mostly involves murder and gunfights. Ooh. But out here, at least we won't get robbed by any two-bit thief looking to fund his next fix. So, I guess it's not too bad. So, uh, Jenny told me you can patch me up. Well, I'm not actually a doctor, but I could give you some first aid. I'll take a look at that leg of yours. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is one nasty fracture, all right. I recommend taking a rest and let it heal naturally. Though, you don't look like the sitting still type. Here, you can take this to alleviate some of the pain. Vicodin? Nice. Do you know where my gear is? Your gear? You mean from that plane crash? I'm not sure. Um, listen, I had like a hundred mini nukes on me, alright? You really don't want to be holding on to those. Right, yes. We do have most of the stuff that landed on the ground after the crash. However, there was some great loot in there. That stuff could help us survive for another year or two. I'd be a fool to give it up for free. Um, then what... stuff's mine. Right, I see. You're just another selfish prick, huh? Typical. Look. <sighs> okay, how about this? I'll go fetch your stuff if you do me a small favor. I'm in need of clean water. Scout out the water plant and cistern down below, and see if it's usable. It's probably a quick trip. Oh, and come to think of it, the other settlers around here could probably also use some help. Since you're being so rude to me, you won't see your gear until you help all of us out. Oh, fuck you. I was gonna offer to help. Uh. <laughs> Since you're being so rude to me, I'm gonna read your fucking notes and steal all your shit. Huh. 
Hello again. Uh huh. Journal entry one. Here's where you find out where she became such a bitch. Finally, got this terminal working. Hello, world. Yuko Takashi here, reporting from Dusty Bowl of Eagle Crags. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? This is just a damn note to myself to keep track of what I'm doing for anyone else who ends up here after I'm gone. I ended up here after getting chased away by some angry settlers that when wandering the wasteland. That was about three weeks ago. Now, a small settlement of shacks here have been both a blessing and a curse. Nobody will bother us up here, but that also means nobody will trade with us, and location makes it hard to go out for scavenger runs. Johnny has been here for longer than I have, and seems to be a bit jaded about the whole area. He's got a good reason though, I heard he's lost a good amount of friends to the valley. Uh, the supplies I brought with me has ran dry, and it seems that nobody else in town has any good food or water either. I know that us schools technically don't need to eat or drink to sustain our bodies, but we do still feel hunger and thirst. On the upside, though, I don't have to sleep outside anymore. I managed to convince Jessica and Esther to share their shack with me, so I can finally say goodbye to my cardboard fort. Even though we're this far south, it actually gets pretty cold during winter here in Arizona. It's nothing like up in Minnesota, that's for sure. I've seen my fair share of hypothermia and limbs off ghouls straight up falling off. At least I don't have to deal with that anymore. We had a visitor yesterday. He had a bunch to trade, luckily, so we got our hands on some food and water to ration out. It's not top shelf stuff, but I guess that's the that's a thing of the past. I think I'll start looking for a permanent solution to our supply problem when winter is over, but I don't know whether it'll succeed or not. Esther went down to the valley this morning and hasn't come back yet, and Jessica is beyond herself with worry. She's already picking her, packing her backpack for a rescue operation. I tried to discourage her and have her wait at least another day before setting out, but to no avail. She's probably going to head out before nightfall. This is probably all my fault too, because I've been mentioning that I needed more wiring for the grow lights. Esther and Jessica still haven't come back, and by now I don't think they ever will. Maybe they died, maybe they just left the valley. I guess the shack is mine now, so I can start giving their stuff away to people who's still left here. Not that there's many of them left. Most either leave or give in to the hunger and goes feral. I've gotten the planters up and running and I've found some good soil deeper into the caves. Now I just need some seeds and the operation will be up and running. Finally stuff is looking up around here. Johnny seems doubtful but I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. This is going to work. Uh, I managed to get my hands on some corn. I can't wait to plate, plant these and get this project of mine finally off its feet. If this work if this works, I can feed the entire settlement. I'm running on fumes, but I can't give up hope. We're barely staving off the hunger with scavenged pieces of meat. The crops are making steady progress, but the rest of the people around here don't seem to agree with how much water I'm using for my projects. They say it's gotten worse outside, but I've been too immersed in my projects that I barely leave the caves these days. We had a power outage for several days, and I think it severely damaged the crops. We'll see how it goes, but I may have to replant another batch. Clive and Hans, and Hans wasn't so happy with the recent decisions Johnny made, so they left town. The new batch I planted have started to wither. I do not yet know the cause, but I suspect it's the water. I need to replant. We've lost another three to the hunger, and I'm afraid it might catch me soon too. Third batch was doing so well after I took care to remove as much radiation from the water as possible, but I guess the cave spring water just isn't going to do it for the crops. Perhaps the treatment plant down in the valley has something better I can use. Alright, I'll get your frickin' water. How the hell do you, uh, get out of here? Oh, well. I got a knife. We'll need that. 
The shotgun's not going to last forever. And I guess we also have that if we really need it. Looks like we got ourselves some quests, uh, but I am going to cut here. In the next episode, it looks like we are venturing back down there. I didn't see any ferals while we were down there, but uh, from the sounds of it, the place might be infested. Uh, I don't have my binoculars, never mind. Alright, so, hope you all enjoyed so far. I'm looking forward to this. This looks like a pretty good world so far. The voice acting sounds good. Um, so yeah, we will see you all later. Y'all have a wonderful night.